Hello world! This vegan lentil dish from India, which seems to be super popular in the southeast state of Andhra, knocked me off my feet. It's being referred to as Mamrikaya Pappu and is made of lentils and unripe mangoes, which are mixed with an oil that's infused with mild spices and dried chilies that pleasantly tickle one's taste buds. So let's make some in this episode. For our mango dal recipe, we will need some dal, split yellow lentils in our case, a raw mango, or alternatively the hardest and most unripe mango you can find in your supermarket, salt and turmeric, mustard as well as cumin seeds, dried chili peppers, curry leaves, and last but not least, a spice that is referred to as hing or asafoetia, which tastes like a mix of onion and garlic powder. Let's start by washing our dal and let it soak for 30 to 60 minutes, which will help with cooking them later. In the meanwhile, let's have a look at our mangoes. The green one, which we got from our local Indian supermarket, was really raw and one could cut through the kernel, which was not fully developed yet. Peel it off and somehow cut it into 1 inch pieces, but be careful and don't cut yourself. Taste wise, raw mangoes are rather sour, similar to certain apples, but with the structure of a raw potato. As you might have noticed from my previous videos, I got a sweet tooth, so I will add half of the ripe mango in this recipe as well, which makes this dish more interesting and delicious. Finish off cutting and let's bring those mangoes over to the stove. The lentils should have soaked enough water in the meanwhile, so let's wash and rinse them a few times till the water doesn't turn too blurry anymore and you can easily see your hand through it. Let's start cooking by placing the lentils over medium heat and adding 2 cups of hot water into our pot. Mix in salt and turmeric, bring to a boil and let simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. You can use any sort of dried lentils, but please make sure that you familiarize yourself with how to best cook them as cooking times can widely vary. We use split yellow lentils, also referred to as tor dal, and let soak for 60 minutes. It took them around 25 minutes to cook over low heat in our normal pot. Most recipes we found online are using pressure cookers, but we don't have one and cooking in a pot covered with a lid was perfectly fine in our case. Once the lentils are almost done, let's start with our tatka. According to Serious Eats, tatka refers to both a technique and the infused oil it produces, which adds an extra layer of flavor and texture in many Indian dishes. Place a pan over medium-low heat and drop 40 grams of ghee in there. If you have no ghee at hand, go with vegetable oil. Immediately drop the mustard seeds, cumin seeds, chili pepper and half a teaspoon of hing in there and saute for a minute. Assuming you can't get your hands on hing, you can substitute it with a small chopped onion and an additional clove of garlic. Follow up with a few curry leaves, but be careful as the leaves water content can lead to immediate evaporation when it makes contact with the hot oil. Add a coarsely chopped garlic cloth if you like and finally drop the raw mangoes in there which we will cook for a few minutes over low heat. We suggest that you add the ripe sweet mango pieces later, otherwise they will turn mushy. Mix well and saute for a minute before you add 100 ml of hot water, put the lid on and cook for approximately 5 minutes till the mango turn a bit yellow whitish. Let's have a look at our lentils in the meanwhile, they should be fully cooked. Grab your mushing instrument of choice, puree the lentils a bit, turn off the heat and put the lid back on while we finish cooking our mango. They should have turned a bit soft so that you can easily cut through with your dull knife. Then it's time to add the ripe sweet mango and mix well. Get your cooked and pureed lentils ready, we will transfer them into the pan and let it soak our tatka with all its flavors. Mix well and season some more with salt if you like. You can reduce your mango dal a bit or add some more hot water if it's too dry. Finally, turn off the heat, mix in a handful of chopped cilantro and shout out to family members to gather at the kitchen table. Eat your mango dal plain or serve on a bed of rice. It was our first time we had mamarkaya papu and we were rather impressed by it. The flavors go very well together and depending on whether you bite on a piece of dry chili, raw or ripe mango, a mild spicy, sour or sweetness will hit your taste buds. I found that very exciting really, which reminds me a little bit of life in general. We simply don't know what life holds for us next. I hope you enjoyed this video and moreover will give our mango dal recipe a go and enjoy it too. Wow. Thanks for watching and bon appetit. Thank you my Indian friends. Very delicious.